If we set up a tank of fluid that was highly oxygenated, could we then breathe those liquids in? Yes. Have we done that? Yes. Sometimes we're really bad at naming things in science, but this is just called liquid breathing. You can look it up. Now we can't do this with water because water can only hold so much carbon dioxide and so much oxygen. Because you need something that can hold both of those things because not only does it have to deliver the oxygen, it has to take the carbon dioxide away. Mostly, we've been thinking about this for medical reasons. So you need to like get air into a person and their lungs are having a problem. Forcing air in to like inflate the lungs can create these like really big pressure dynamics where you hit a lot of pressure and then a little pressure and it does a lot of damage to the lungs. And that's especially true for premature babies who have liquid in their lungs when they are born. So they wanted to test that out. They did. They found that it was about as effective as other ventilation techniques. So they stopped doing research on it because it was not better. But we did do it.